You are just a few clicks away from creating your own unscramble letters game. We just need your list of words or sentences. We will scramble the letters so your players have to put them in order. To play from a touch device, they can tap on a letter to change it for the one in the active box or drag and drop it to change it for any of them. When they play from a computer, they can use the keyboard to type the letters or the mouse to click or to drag and drop them. In any case, it is possible to get two right guesses at the same time if the two letters they changed are put in place in the same movement. If you want to give your game a plus of excitement, you can set a time limit to order each word or sentence and a limited number of lives. They will lose a life each time they put a letter in a wrong place and each time they run out of time. Above each word, you can put a question or clue combining text with audios pictures or animated GIFs. Let's go! The first thing you're going to do, which you may have already done, is clicking on New Activity and choose Unscramble Letters. If you don't have an account or you are not signed in, it will ask you to do it. You are now inside the creator, ready to write the first word or sentence you want your players to put in order. Right above, you have a space to give a question with text and a multimedia element that can be a picture, an animated GIF or an audio that you upload or record. This field has a great background because it is optional. For example, an activity titled Planets of the Solar System maybe does not need extra information for them to guess each one of them. You need just one word to create a game, but you can add many with the button Add Word or clicking on the Duplicate button if the one you want to create is similar to one you already have. With the Edit button, you can open and close each word to work on it or to check everything is okay. With the delete button, you can erase them, but be careful because once you do it, it can be undone. Dragging and dropping this button on the left, you can change the order in which your words appear. However, if you want it, you can make your words or sentences appear randomly. It's very easy, just go to Options and click on Shuffle Order. By default, your games don't have limits of time of lives, but you can change this here. With the Lives option, you can set the game to end if your players make a number of mistakes. With the Time option, you can set a number of seconds your players have to order each word or sentence. If time runs out before they finish unscrambling a word, the game will go to the next screen without them being able to get the points of the letters they still had to order, and they will also lose a life if you set the option on. If you activate the option Typing with Action Marks, they will have to write them if they play typing to avoid getting a mistake. If this is not active, the program will put the letter in place whether they have typed it or not. With any premium account, you can use advanced options such as setting a background picture, setting the activity as private, having a message appear when players pass the activity, or not showing the correct answers when they finish. If you are a premium commercial, you can also customize the activities with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. If yours is not in the EducaPlay database, you can set the recommended age or the area of knowledge instead. In any case, to make your activities easier to classify, you will have to set a minimum of three tags, which you can separate by commas or by pressing enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the publish button. It may happen that the activity cannot be published because you are missing some mandatory fields or because it does not meet the minimum quality standards. If that's the case, when you click on publish, a message will appear warning you of what you have to change. If everything is okay, then your activity is published. Congratulations! Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.